Serves the gentleman from New York is recognized. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I always appreciate hearing from my uh, colleagues and distinguished uh, member of the Rules Committee, Ms. Fishbach. I do note, however, a couple of things uh, before I uh, yield uh, some time. Uh, the first is that as it relates to how the bill is funded, as I indicated, the Inspector General himself, that office indicated there's $78 billion in fraudulent claims that are being recouped by the federal government. This bill will cost four, uh, $42 billion for the restaurant revitalization replenishment, another $13 billion, $55 billion. There's plenty of money in that uh, reclaimed dollars to be able to pay for this without having to appropriate new dollars. So this is actually should be in line with the principles of uh, some of our more conservative members to reclaim dollars that are owed to the United States and to its taxpayers. Secondly, as it relates to uh, workforce shortages, and I think we all know in every industry, uh, I know that businesses I talk to back home are struggling to find uh, workers. Uh, yet I note yesterday in the Education Labor a Committee, of which I am a member, that we didn't get a single Republican vote for the Workforce Innovation Opportunity Act. We owe us reauthorization, which will do great things to try to continue to move people into the workplace as quickly as possible, yet we received no support from that. So we're going to continue to work on these issues here in this Congress. We're going to continue to lead. This majority is going to continue to look out for small businesses, going to continue to look out for people looking for work, going to continue to look out for employers who face worker shortages. So we'll continue to support this, and I believe this bill uh, will be a, a great, great victory for the 178,000 restaurants who desperately need our support. And with that, uh, uh, let me now uh, yield three minutes to the distinguished gentleman and a fellow member of the Rules Committee from California, Mr. Desaulnier. Gentleman from California is recognized for three minutes. Thank you. I want to thank uh, my friend and colleague for yielding, and I also want to uh, thank for the con conversation from, at the Rules Committee and um, my distinguished colleagues on both sides. And I want to speak for a few moments, Mr. Speaker, as somebody who spent 35 years in the restaurant business, owning and managing restaurants in California, small businesses that were vital to the communities of when they were, where they were, and how important they are to restart Main Street America in every district. The multipliers of having uh, restaurants open and the difficulty and the cash flow of a small business like this and why this initiative is so important. The Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates, estimates that in 2019, there were 12.1 million people employed in the restaurant and food service industry. So many of those people immediately lost their jobs and their incomes with no warning when the pandemic hit. In April of 2020 alone, the restaurant industry lost five and a half million jobs. Through the American Rescue Plan, we established the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, which provided $28.6 billion in emergency assistance to eligible restaurants, bars, and qualifying businesses impacted by the pandemic. Although this program helped more than 100,000 restaurants and food and beverage businesses across the country in every district, the program received applications of nearly three times the amount of money that it had to give out. We cannot overlook the obvious need. The Relief for Restaurants and Other Hard-Hit Small Businesses Act, H.R. 3807, would inject $42 billion to allow the Small Business Administration to process the applications of over 150,000 eligible entities that previously applied for relief. I've met and talked to many of my former colleagues in the business who have applied for these funds and speak very positively about their experience and how helpful it was to get them through the pandemic. It helps these small businesses. Though the pandemic, at, through the pandemic, at least 40% of pandemic-related revenue loss was suffered by businesses with fewer than 200 employees. Again, as a former restaurant owner, Myself, I have seen how restaurants can bring communities together. We owe it to these local business entrepreneurs, these owners, and millions of workers who depend on this help to pass this important bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back. 